in previous chapter um, previous lectures i have shown how okay i'm showing mm, okay. in previous lectures i have shown how these two formula is formulated is derived and if you are if you have understood those then let's try to implement them okay example a car runs 10 meter per second in a in the east after 10 second in it runs in the north find the acceleration of the car so at first we have to find the resultant velocity yes the car runs 10 meter per second in the east this is car running 10 meter per second in the east this is the east direction and after 10 second it runs in the north this is north direction and it is in north the velocity is also same 10 meter per second so at first we need to find the angle between two vectors okay to find the angle we have to make the arrowhead outward from a point so we have to extend this vector okay this is the extension of this of the vector a now i can find the angle this is 90 degree okay now i can find the resultant velocity and here the resultant velocity is represented by c now we can apply c square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha now c square equal to a square means 10 b square means 10 plus 2a into b into cos alpha alpha means 90 degree and from here we can calculate the c that is the resultant velocity that is 10 root 2 meter per second now i am going to find the acceleration we know acceleration means velocity divided by time so here the resultant velocity is 10 root 2 and the time given is 10 second so the resultant acceleration is 10 root 2 by 10 equal to root 2 meter per second square now i am going to discuss the parallelogram law of vector addition the statement is if two vectors are considered to be the adjacent side of a parallelogram then the resultant of two vectors is given by the vector which is a diagonal passing through the point of contact of two vectors read it and pause the screen and read it carefully then go ahead okay let me explain it let this is a parallelogram and two vector one is vector a and another is vector b is represented by the adjacent side of this parallelogram let this is vector o a and this is vector b then the resultant vector of vector a and vector b will be along the diagonal of the parallelogram so this is the resultant vector okay now analytical calculation of parallelogram draw let this is a parallelog parallelogram and this is a vector a and this side is represented this side is representing vector b and uh, the angle between two vectors is alpha and so according to parallelogram law the resultant of a and b is r which is nothing but the diagonal of the parallelogram so now i am going to calculate the analytical formula okay what i have done I have just replaced the vector b from here to here okay see it again the vector b was here and we will put this vector from here to here did that means the same yes now you can find a triangle which is having two sides as vector a and vector b and the third side is representing the resultant vector that is r that means 
you can apply triangle law here okay now you need to find the angle between two vectors yes the vector a is this and vector b is this so to find the angle we need to make the arrowhead outward from a point so we need to extend vector a this is the extension of vector a and find the angle let it alpha and from this we can calculate this formula c square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha and also tan alpha sorry tan theta equal to b sin alpha by a plus b cos alpha and this formula is derived in previous videos so if you uh, want to see that you have to follow those videos now the example can resultant of two equal vectors be equal to each of the vector read the question carefully and the answer is giving by me let two equal vectors are a and a acting at an angle alpha as per questions as per question resultant vector is also a so this is vector a and this is vector b and they are acting at an angle alpha this is alpha angle you know how to calculate the angle okay so this is the resulting vector and it is also a because it is written here the resultant of two equal vector b equal to each of them okay so apply c square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha c means a and put all the values b means also a and 2ab cos alpha here this is alpha and you can find alpha equal to 120 degree so this is possible that means the resultant of two equal vectors can be equal to each of them if the angle between two vectors is 120 degree okay now one another example let 2p and p vectors are acting at a fixed angle if doubled the first vector the resultant will be tripled find the angle between the vectors let this one is vector a which is 2p and this one is vector b which is which is p and obviously the resultant vector is c and we need to find the angle between them let the angle between vector a and vector b b alpha okay then we can apply c square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha so c square equal to a means 2p b means p put them okay this is equation 1 now case 2 what is case 2 case 2 is if doubled the first vector that means a is doubled then the resultant will be tripled that means c will be tripled now the a vector is 4p it is double of 2p b vector is as same as previous and c vector is tripled that means it is 3c now we can apply c square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha and put all the values c means 3c a means 4p okay and we can get this equation this is equation 2 you can solve equation 1 and equation 2 and you can get that alpha equal to 180 degree so in this way we can find the angle between two vectors now I am going to uh, teach the relative velocity in the next